how to stop feeling unconscious. Ha <laughs> ha, no. <laughs> it's actually appropriate. How to stop feeling self-conscious. Which, first of all, the term self-conscious is a terrible term for it. Because that's not a feeling. What you're generally feeling is anxiety, unworthiness, fear, self-judgment. Because what's happening is you have some self-awareness. Your body's maybe feeling anxious, you have some anxiety, maybe you're in a social situation, you got a presentation, you're nervous. And you're aware that you're nervous. So you're conscious of being nervous. And that's fine. The problem of self-conscious, where that term applies, is the mind then starts to make a story about this is terrible, people are going to notice, what will people think of me, oh, this is really bad, I'm going to screw it up because I'm nervous. And so you add these narrative stories of fear and anxiety and criticism and doom about this anxious feeling. That's what you call self-conscious, but it's actually self-judgment, fear and anxiety, doom thinking. And that feels particularly worse than the original feeling. Now, then you can go into another level of awareness about that. You can be aware, oh, I'm in the stories of fear and judgment about my anxiety that I'm aware of. And then you can add another layer of self-conscious on top of that, which is, oh, now I'm in the stories <laughs> that I'm aware of. And this is terrible that I'm in the stories and I'm being self-conscious. And so you've got layers of fear and anxiety about that, doing that, about the self-judgment fear stories. It's kind of fascinating the mind can add these layers. What's the first step to change this? Be aware it's not you doing it. Be aware, ah, this is my mind running its automatic stories. Now, you haven't stopped it with that stuff, but you've changed your point of view and say, ah, I see what my mind is doing. And the eye that's now seen, you're becoming the observer. And that's a little different. From the observer, then you can start to make changes. Then you can start to go, it's okay that my mind does. That's what it's doing. That's what its core beliefs are generating. We'll work on that later. But getting to a place where you can be okay, you're not the problem. You have a mind that you want to change some things about, but you're okay. That's self-acceptance while your mind is generating these stories. So your perspective has changed. You move to the observer. You can be accepting of yourself you're gonna relax a little bit more while you see that your mind is anxious telling stories about what it's new or seen. Those are two big shifts and important ones to start with. That's how you can stop being self-conscious or doing those self-conscious anxiety, self-judgment things. And then once you do that, you can get into changing the beliefs that are creating the anxiety and the judgment. 